Chapter 14 Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, F. The Eternal Brotherhood First Bible Lesson, Romans chapter 4 verses 16 and 17, Therefore it is of faith, that it might be by grace, to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations, before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead, and colored those things which be not as though they were. Second Bible Lesson, Galatians chapter 4 verses 22 and 23, before it is written, that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bond maid, the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by promise. Golden text, Galatians chapter 3 verses 15 and 16, Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man dishonoreth, or addeth thereto. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He said not, and to seeds, as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. Brethren, that is the theme of our revelation. For over the years the promise which God had covenanted with Abraham has always been invoked, the children of Abraham themselves have forgotten about this promise. And that is why trouble besets the world. The inhabitants of the world are children of Abraham, this promise was made when Abraham had no child. This agreement was written, signed, sealed and delivered that those pronouncements would come to be as they were written. You have heard what is read in the first lesson. It is said, as it is written, I have made thee a father of nations. When Abraham did not yet beget a child, it was written of him that he will be the father of many nations. You have also heard that Abraham was a friend of God. What is the meaning of friend? It means that God is the father and Abraham is also the father. You would then realize that all of us are the children of Abraham, all human beings who occupy the surface of the earth are the children of Abraham. Right now, those who profess to be Christians have forgotten about Abraham. And those who profess to be Muslims have also forgotten about Abraham. Those who profess to be Hindus have also forgotten all about Abraham. The Jews have forgotten about Abraham. Indeed all the inhabitants of the world have forgotten about Abraham. Man now moves as he likes in the world. This is the hub around which the problems in the world revolve. The children of Abraham are brotherhood, whatever promise God had first covenanted with his people, no one is there to nullify it. The work we are now doing was the work which was covenanted before man was created. Whatever is tied by the Father, no person can untie it, and whatever is loosened by the Father, there is no person who can tie it up. When I tell you that all the inhabitants of the world are brotherhood, you burst into laughter. Take this gospel and broadcast it to the world because as I am standing here I do not stand as a representative of the Africans, not as a representative of the Europeans, not as a representative of the Asians, not as a representative of angels, not as a representative of anything but I am standing as a representative of the truth, because all of us are the children of God, and therefore all of us are the children of Abraham, all of us are the Christ of God. And this is the end of time when all of you are going to be united together. Love one another, you have no business to witch hunt any person, whether he is an evil man or a good person. You should be indifferent to it. Your duty is to love one another. And also it is our duty to disseminate these good tidings of great joy to every person throughout the world. Whenever you see people sowing seeds of division, you have to intimate them that it is unfortunate for them to remain in such a position up till date. Do you not realize that we are all one, for we are all the children of God? All church denominations are in opposition, the government is in opposition, companies are in opposition, each and every individual is in opposition, but the Father is in the majority. You have not accepted this fact up till now. You have caused a lot of confusion. Why is it that when you go to a certain place you go to build a small house to stay in? What about the already constructed buildings? When our Lord Jesus Christ came, he did not put up any building at all. Wherever he went, he entered into the synagogues or temples and preached the word of God to the people. Why is it that you do not go into the churches you see to expound the word of God to them, but you prefer going to a place to acquire a piece of land to build a battle? What do you want to do with the battle? Man is the kingdom of God, 
I have no business with churches because you are the church and I am the church. All of us constitute the church. I have no business with architectural buildings, for I am the kingdom and church of God. You too are the kingdom and church of God. All of us form the kingdom of God. I have no business with God's husbandry, I am God's husbandry, you are God's husbandry. But in plain language all of us are brotherhood. If you put on brotherhood as a garment, if you accept right now that you are brotherhood, and that all the inhabitants of the world are brotherhood, then everything is accomplished in the world. Acceptance of brotherhood by all subsumes God's glory on earth, all the people of the world should accept now that they are brotherhood because brotherhood means the children of God. All of us form only one person. If then we are one person, why should you then disgrace me? Why should you steal my properties? Why should you tell lies to me? Are you and I not one again? My mission is not to found a church. I do not come to build a church. My mission is not to build a prayer house. I do not come to build a cathedral. But my mission is to show in practice by expression what brotherhood is. Do not disturb yourself any longer but go and tell every person that we are all the children of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of God, thus we are the sons of God. You have heard that Abraham had two sons, the one by a born woman, another by a free woman. But he who was born of the born woman was born after the flesh, but he who was born of the free woman was of the spirit and by promise. Do you not see that there is flesh and there is spirit also? The two of them are coexisting. If somebody is of the Obon or Epco societies or any other local secret societies, you will profess that such a person is Satan. What is Satan? If you come across somebody hanging certain things on his neck or he has injected certain things on his body, you conclude that he is not a brotherhood. Will you also imply that his neck is also not brotherhood? The truth unveiled, the fact remains that what has eluded the inhabitants of this world is this truth which is unveiled to you today. Because if you read the first chapter of Genesis, you will discover that ab initio, the world was void and without form. But God started creating everything that we find in it today. He created the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air and every living thing that moves upon the earth, and then he created man. Can you tell me why these creations of God will not make a claim that God is their father? We can trace our pedigree to Abraham. If you read the book of Genesis, chapter 11 verse 1, it is said, And the whole earth was of one language, and of speech. Right now we are staging a go back to the Garden of Eden. He has already accomplished the task of bringing us all together. Never you go and segregate that one person or the other is not a brother. If you do so, it means that you are not with me but against me. You are scattering abroad. Ishmael was the son of Abraham and Isaac was the son of Abraham. And therefore both of them were the children of God. Both Esau and Jacob were the children of Isaac. Thus they were the children of God. It is said that on the side of the gospel, you are all enemies but on the side of election, you are the children of God because of your father. This is the promise which God made unto Abraham that he will have one child. That one child is Christ, therefore all persons are the children of God as much as brotherhood. Whenever you come across any person who has some difficulties, regard him as a brotherhood and help him out of his predicament. As a brotherhood when you render assistance to any person, you should do so in the name of brotherhood and not in the name of Africa, Nigeria, local government your family or your personal name. We do things by the name of brotherhood and not by any other name. When you know the truth it will make you free, John chapter 8 verse 32, we do not do anything because you are a white man or because you love us or because you hate us, but we do everything because all of us are brotherhood. If you therefore take out this gospel to all the church denominations, governments, necromancers and the rest of the people, all of them will accept you, for they are searching for the truth. It is not their pleasure to indulge in the preparation of concoction, theft, falsehood, rendition of uncomplimentary songs. But they have derailed from the path of rectitude, and they are ignorant of the truth. The moment they realize the truth, they will rearrange their thinking. Remedial Gospel, you have to realize that Abinitio God had empowered Adam to have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, 
and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Right now if God had chosen to destroy the world before now, he would have regretted such an action. Can you not realize that now you have been reformed? The millions of people occupying the surface of the earth will in like manner be reformed. It is not our marching them in a bid to kill them, to shoot them with the gun, to imprison them, to starve them, to disfellowship them, to send them packing, to flog them, that will correct the unwholesome situation in the world. Besides this was not what you were assigned to do. Remember the gospel delivered last Sunday. I told you that this week I would deliver another gospel which will serve as a remedy and a panacea for everything. Last week, you were told that any person who kills with a sword will himself be killed with a sword. If you steal, another person will steal from you. If you deceive any person, you will be deceived. But now, you have been told to do that which is good to every person because everybody is brotherhood. We should not be weary in well-doing, Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 and 4, by so doing, peace will prevail with mankind. It is said, as brethren, if any man be taken at fault, you who are spiritual, you who are the children of God, you who are brotherhood should use love, peace, lowliness of heart, patience, good behavioral pattern to do good to him in order to return him to his former position, Galatians chapter 6 verse 1. We face problems because we are yet to accept brotherhood in its correct perspective. You are now playing churchianity. The moment you realize that all of you are brotherhood, you will become universal. You will no longer have a house, you will no longer have a place of abode and you will be free everywhere. The brotherhood of man, all evildoers are brotherhood. It is incumbent upon you to draw close to them and have mercy on them and preach the word of God to them. Because a great many of them had derailed from the path of rectitude because of poverty, or ignorance, or because of not hearing the word of God. You are to take the word of God to them, and in doing so use long-suffering. As God has reformed you it is also in the same manner he changes and reforms the entire world. There is a local adage which says, a bad child is good in the mother's house. When a child has bad behavioral pattern, it is the mother who will advise the child. As a brotherhood, this is exactly what we should do. It is not when you see somebody, you beat up the person, you kill him, you deceive him, you steal his properties, you snatch away his wife, you snatch away her husband, you defraud him of his life savings. That is not brotherhood. Avoid being discriminatory and also being a segregationist. The peace which we want in life hangs on your acceptance and belief that you are brotherhood and that every creation of God is brotherhood for brotherhood means the children of God. But so long as you continue to be discriminatory in nature, that one person is your child, that one person is from your village, that the other persons are your brethren, that he lives along your street, that he is your husband, that the woman is your mother and that others are not related to you, so long as you continue to segregate and sow seeds of division, you have not yet embraced brotherhood. What about all others? To whom do they belong? The second lesson will now be read. Second Bible lesson, Galatians chapter 4 verses 22 and 23 before it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bond maid, the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by promise. Brethren, have you heard that? The whole Muslim world consists of the children of Abraham. Because the Muslims believe in Abraham and that Ishmael was his first son. Ishmael was delivered by Hagar, a woman impregnated by Abraham. They therefore cannot see any earthly reason why that birthright should have been taken away from Ishmael by another person. The Christians contend that Isaac was a child of promise because there was a promise before any person was born in the flesh. Since the mother of Isaac had suffered for many years with Abraham, as it was promised that he will be the father of all nations. And Isaac was born unto Abraham in accordance with the promise of God. They therefore could not see any earthly reason why Isaac should not be recognized as the firstborn son of Abraham. It is this disagreement between the two factions which has precipitated the conflict and warfare in the Middle East. And it has caused the people not to recognize Abraham and not to recognize God nor the brethren either. Isaac the child of promise, carnally, the Muslims are correct because Hagar, the mother of Ishmael was impregnated by Abraham. 
Thus carnally they are right to claim that Ishmael was the firstborn son of Abraham. Spiritually, the Christians are correct in claiming that Isaac was the first son of Abraham. This is because that promise was made to Sarah and not to any other woman when they did not yet have a child. God had promised that Sarah would bring forth a child. And therefore, they are very correct to claim that Isaac came as a result of the promise of God and that he was the only child of Abraham. There is a certain insect which lives in the stem of trees. It says that when two people are fighting, the person who will intervene becomes the third person. Suffice it to say that the third person has now come to bring an end to the warring tendency of the other two factions, i.e. the Christians and the Muslims. Flesh and spirit are inseparable, the two sides in the dispute are right. But let us come back home. The flesh and spirit are one. And since we are all the children of God, let us do away with all differences, for we are all one. We are the children of light. Paul had said, When I was a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 11 Let all of us now forget about everything of childhood. Whatever division we had in the past, we should bridge the gap now. That was why our Lord Jesus Christ came in order to unify the different peoples of the world into one indivisible whole. Therefore, I am pleading that all of you should sink your differences, because he has made peace with his precious blood, and has brought you unto himself. We are therefore brotherhood. The core of brotherhood revealed, what I am revealing to you today is the manifestation of what we do in brotherhood. Every person is brotherhood. Your problem is my problem and vice versa. Whatever affects you affects me. It is because we have not fully comprehended this truism that triggers off the tendency among us to fight against brotherhood. And that is the cause of your predicament because you continue to resist the will of God. All angels are the children of God. All animals are his children. The rain which falls comes from him. Everything is traceable to God. You have realized this truth, therefore, you should accept it now wholehearted. By so doing, you are free. You acknowledge your faults, and you do not show your sins to the world. You always conceal them within yourself. Why then do you broadcast the iniquities of your brother outside? Diversity of gifts but one spirit, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 4, If right from today, you accept the truth, you will see where you stand. And this truth is that all the inhabitants of the world are all God's creations, and they are brotherhood. Never mind the color of people's skins, their languages, their behavioral patterns, be they tall or short, be they thieves, whatever they may be, forget about them. Concentrate your thinking on the issue that all of us are brotherhood, since we were created by the same one God, who is the Father of us all. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. For one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another gift of healing by the same Spirit. To another the working of miracles to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these work it that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man severally, as he will. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 4 to 11, How many lords are there? There is only one Lord. There is only one teacher. There is only one God. There is only one spirit. How many persons are there then? Only one. Reveal brotherhood to the world, no person has acquired this recondite wisdom. When the scales will fall off your eyes, then your eyes will be opened, you will no longer look for a child of your own. You will no longer look for a wife or a husband, neither will you look for anything because all these things are in abundance here in the kingdom. Your only duty is to show forth this brotherhood. It is said that wealth is found here, money is found here and all manners of employment are found here but what we are really looking for are people who tell the truth. You are witnesses to the fact that I have never sent you to found a church or to build a church. But I have always commissioned you to go and preach the glory of God to make them know that we are all brotherhood. When you go there, reveal brotherhood to them. Your duty is to reveal and to demonstrate in practical terms what brotherhood is all about. Brotherhood means children of God. If you are a child of God, what about the thieves, the swindlers, the evildoers languishing there? 
Are they not also the children of God? You are to go to them and preach to them these good tidings of great joy. It may be because they find themselves in this predicament because of lack of employment, because of not hearing the word of God or because of lack of money. Whatever may be the springboard of their predicaments, when you get to them you will be able to win them back, and God will change and reform them. Do not blame but show people the truth, there is somebody who is engaging in the preparation of concoctions, who is going about naked, who is killing animals, who is sacrificing animals to his gods, and doing all sorts of things. Never you apportion any blame on him, that he is a child of perdition, that he is one thing or the other. Has Satan got a goat? Has a mermaid got a goat? Has Juju got a goat? Is that goat not of God? Therefore you are to go to him and tell him the truth. It may be that his problem was that of sickness. Whatever may be the cause of his confused state, once this barrier is removed, the person will, without any hesitation, throw away those diabolical things. He will rearrange his thinking and come back home as a child of God. Do not be weary in well-doing, Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, you remember when our Lord Jesus Christ saw that man who had an infirmity for 38 years at the pool of Bethsaida. He asked, Would thou be made whole? And the impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another stepped down before me. And our Lord Jesus Christ came forward and said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole. John chapter 5 verses 6 to 8. You are to go forth and show this truth to people. Whether they beat you up or they disgrace you or they make defamatory statements against you. Whatever they do, do not mind these tendencies, but show the truth. Whatever action they may take against you, continue to preach the word of God to them. There should be no discrimination amongst you, but preach the word of God. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 When our Lord Jesus Christ came, he went into the synagogues and temples not to curse the people, but to preach the word of God to them and to heal the sick ones. He went to the marketplace and everywhere disseminating the word of God and this is the assignment which each and every one of you must strive to accomplish. Did you hear that our Lord Jesus Christ built any house? I have commissioned you to go from place to place but when you go there you end up cursing the people there, telling them that hitherto they were in utter darkness, threatening them to come over to brotherhood, telling them that they should come and see the Holy Father. Is that what you were commissioned to accomplish? Do not cast your precious thing before the pigs, remember when our Lord Jesus Christ asked his disciples saying, Whom do men say that I am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some, Elias, and others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said unto him, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock will I build my church. Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 to 18, What is that rock? It is Simon Peter. Then he charged his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. Matthew chapter 16 verse 20. Brethren, have you heard that? Upon all the time they were going about with him, have you been told that they ever disclosed this to any person that he was the Christ? Remember that the main reason that Herod the king wanted to kill our Lord Jesus Christ was that when the three wise men arrived, they asked him, Where is he that is born the king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Matthew chapter 2 verses 2 and 3. You have heard that Caiaphas, the high priest had said, Ye know nothing at all. Nor consider that it is expedient for us, that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation perish not. And this he spoke not of himself, but being the high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for the nation. And not for that nation only, but that he should gather together into one flock, the children of God that were scattered abroad. 
Then from that day forth they took counsel together for to put him to death. John chapter 11 verses 49 to 52, is that not triggering of trouble? That is the confusion you make here. I am not God but I practice brotherhood. I have never told you that I am a prophet. I have not told you that I am our Lord Jesus Christ. I have not told you that I am an elder, but I preach and practice brotherhood. Go and show to others what brotherhood is all about. Of all the church dignitaries in the world, beginning from the Pope, the Archbishop of Canterbury, the bishops, the reverends, the apostles, the evangelists and the rest of them, what are they doing? They constantly fight against the will of God. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, He that is not with me is against me. Matthew chapter 12 verse 30 Of all the church denominations existing today, there is none of them that is with our Lord Jesus Christ. There is no educational institution which is with our Lord Jesus Christ. Even the government communities, none of them is with him. There is nothing that is with our Lord Jesus Christ. And what you see is brotherhood in conformity with what was to start here. He has said, Habit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall reveal it unto you. All the things that the Father hath are mine, therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall shew it unto you. John chapter 16 verses 13 to 15. Love the brotherhood, have you not been shown the truth? It is for you to disseminate the truth to the outside world. Whenever you see any person in difficulty, you should be kind and benevolent to him. That is where you have failed. And that is why I tell you always that you do not yet comprehend brotherhood. Because you are so saturated with the old wine, hence you feel that the new one is not good. The interpreter is a good witness to the fact that a necromancer had given me an invitation to a function and I honored it. Besides, somebody opened a drinking parlor and invited me and I honored. I did not honor because they are necromancers and palm wine drinkers, nor because they are from the Cross River State, nor because they are Africans, nor for whatever they are, but I was represented because they are brotherhood, and I am a brotherhood. I do not do anything in Africa as an African but I do it because I know the Africans are brotherhood, and I am also brotherhood. I do not do anything in the whole wide world because I am in the world but I do it because I know that all the inhabitants of the world are brotherhood and I am also brotherhood. It is until you have this conviction that your eyes will be opened and you will have peace in your life. You will no longer complain of problems and you will forsake theft, deceiving people, exasperation, because the scales will fall off your eyes. That is the spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ. The golden text will now be read. Golden text, Galatians chapter 3 verses 15 and 16, Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man dishonoreth, or added thereto. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He said not, and to seeds, as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. Men of all walks of life are brotherhood, brethren, have you heard what is read to you? A great many of you sometimes argued that your brother or sister has not yet come to brotherhood in the flesh. Who has taught you that type of language? And sometimes you look at some people and say they are carnal people and that they are not of our Lord Jesus Christ. Religionists and satanics are brotherhood, all the members of the various religions of the world, the Christians, comprising the Catholics and Protestants, Buddhists, the practitioners of Judaism, Hindus and the rest of them, and even the non-religionists who are simply called Satan, they are all the children of Abraham. They are all brotherhood. Look at our Lord Jesus Christ who was crucified with two thieves, one on his right hand the other on his left. This means that he is the mediator of the two covenants. And this means that he has come to amalgamate all the dividing factions of the world together. Forget about the fact that you cannot change yourself, for it is impossible for you to achieve that goal. You cannot also follow him on your own volition. He has come to gather everybody unto himself and reform them. He can make that which is not in existence to come into manifestation. Conversely, he can make that which is in existence to disappear. Therefore, we have no problems. 
do not drive away any person. Rather, remain quiet and practice brotherhood throughout the world. The Father will change everybody at his own time. Back to the Garden of Eden, Abinitio, men and animals live together. Therefore today, man and animals must strive to live together, for we are going back to the Garden of Eden. And so that is what we are returning home with. If from this day you have believed fervently in the word of God delivered to you now, it means that you are really brotherhood. You and I are but one, no matter where you hail from. Here we no longer know where people hail from, nor the color of people. There is neither male nor female, but all we know is brotherhood. For the truth remains that we are all brotherhood. As you are able to refrain from the preparation of concoction, another person is able to refrain from it. As you are able to refrain from such vices, this goes to confirm the word of God, and it says, For it is written, As I live, said the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. Romans chapter 14 verse 11 Have you not known that this word of God has come to manifestation? It means in effect that all of God's creation and those uncreated are His children. The elements, angels, spirits are all brotherhood. Thunder is brotherhood. Rain is brotherhood. Death is brotherhood. Hades is brotherhood. Mermaid, apparition and all diabolical things are brotherhood. Why is it that spirits really comprehend what I am telling you, but you human beings do not understand? If you now go to the angel or spirit, he will tell you that he is brotherhood. But this knowledge of the truth has eluded you today. Brethren, one stroke of the cane is sufficient to the wise. I do not intend to be tedious unto you. May God bless his holy words. Amen. Thank you, Father.